everyone, it's me Daria. Welcome back to my channel. I just came back from Korea and I got a huge skincare haul for you guys. So let's get started. First of all, I have this Abby Heart Leaf Spot Pad Calming Touch. It's something that I've been using for a while. Since I came back to Taiwan, I've been using the products I'm gonna show you for about uh, three, four weeks now. I picked only the best things and the things that worked for my skin. My skin is dehydrated, acne prone, dry, super dry, <laughs> everything dry. Yeah, I picked out this Abib um, pads and they are super popular in all of Yang. I think they were like on the first place and they were sold out many times. I went to Honda and tried to get them. Usually you can just take one pad and go over your face like this. Or you can do a face mask. I think the best thing about these pads is that you can make a quick mask pack. You basically just take a cotton pad. They are already pre-soaked in toner and then just put it on your face. I really like this after shower for about five minutes and after that I'll be using my essence and creams. This is such a good product. It's really good at calming down and irritated skin. One thing I have to tell you guys is that after I came back from Korea, I think it's because the weather was so different. Korea was pretty dry and Taiwan is very humid. My skin broke out and I had to go to dermatologist and he prescribed me some antibiotics. Also some ointments for my skin because it started to break out crazily and it was my head, my face was whole red and I've been using those products on my red skin <laughs> and nothing irritated me everything really helped soothed my skin so I think the products I will be showing you today at least for me they worked and they did a pretty good job at calming down acne prone skin okay after five minutes I'll be just taking it out and then Gently pressing the rest remaining toner. Like this, you can use it on your neck. Okay, just let it dry for a while. There are two more products from Abib I got. Uh, it's Heart Leaf Calming Toner in a Battle Form. And I got um, Jericho Rose Cream. So I got one, two, three products from Abib, and I have to say, all of them are really nice. This toner is just very simple. You see how many ingredients, maybe like 12 ingredients uh, toner. It's not irritating at all, it doesn't have any fragrance, so that's a big plus for it. I'm gonna use it after I'm finished with the pads because this is much more trouble. You have to open the bottle, you have to put it on a cotton pad, then you have to put it on your skin. Pre-soaked cotton pads are my new favorite things. I mean, in the past I've been using some from Cosarex, but these are big ones. They are different. I mean, they are better a little bit. At least at soothing and calming. Yes, the cream is something that caught my eye because of the packaging it reminded me of Ace of Hand Cream. The consistency of it is really tricky because as you guys can see it looks really heavy. It looks very heavy but when you spray it it's actually quite thin and hydrating cream. Yes it is moisturizing and it contains some oils and stuff but I don't think it's irritating and it's it's got this soothing after like feeling, I don't know how to describe it, but it feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. So this cream, it's been my daily face cream. And in the night I've been using something else. And for the serums I got in Korea, there's something new I discovered lately. I want to talk to you about Primera because Primera is my OG, <laughs> all time favorite skincare brand from Korea. I've been using it for how many years? At least 
I think at least since I was in Poland and before I came here to Taiwan so many years <laughs> by now and we using there in like um, wild seed serum but they came out with this new youth radiance vitatinol serum and this one contains vitamin C and also has anti-aging properties I think it was amazing at brightening up my skin after my skin calmed down my acne was healed I started using it and I could see a change after maybe 10 days my overall skin tone was brightened it wasn't a huge difference but there was a difference I could see that also it's very moisturizing and nourishing so I really recommend it to you guys the only disadvantage about it is that it's really small and I used one bottle in one month from the same line I got Primera Youth Radiance Power Moisturizing Cream. This cream is very good, it's very heavy duty. The consistency is, as you guys can see, it's quite heavy, but it feels really nice on my skin. Yeah, so I, I will apply it after serum. <laughs> For the serums, uh, the first thing that I saw on TikTok was this Torridon Drive-In Serum. Guys, this one is so popular in Korea. It's number one in all of Yang. And everyone is getting it when I was there. So I had to get it. What's so special about this serum is that it has low molecular hyaluronic acids. Better at deeper penetrating your skin. It's super watery when you put it on your skin. It feels really like a toner. It doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. If anyone here is living in Taiwan, I really recommend this serum because it doesn't leave any sticky feeling to your face. A very nice, I think, like all year around serum. Next is my favorite thing that I've been using for all so many years. It's from Cosarex. It's Propolis Light Ampoule. And this is my holy grail ampoule. I always stock up on this when I go to Korea. I also buy it from the internet, from some resellers. But this time I went to Korea, they had like a promotion. And they were two bottles in like one package. So I got this one. Why do I like it so much, <laughs> guys? It is just like pure honey. Look at it. Yeah, so this one is a little bit heavier than Toridan one, but I prefer this one to Toridan one, feeling wise. This one is made from honey. It has a propolis extract. Um, the other one is hyaluronic acid one. But this one I think helps with moisturizing my skin overall and it feels a little bit sticky, but in a good way. It feels bouncy. After I put it on my skin, it feels bouncy. That's why I I think this one is the one that keeps my skin moisturized for the longest during the day. Yeah, I think this one is the, is my, my one of my favorite one. But I got something new for you guys. I discovered in Korea because I watched this YouTuber and she released her new skincare line. It's a very, very basic. It's called Mixun Bean Essence. The ingredients are really simple. Some of the profit from this goes for a charity, which is a super good idea. Guys, look at the consistency. This one is crazy. <laughs> look at this. This one is just like a sticky jello or some kind of sugar or something. But when you put it on your skin, it's the best feeling in my whole life I have out of skincare. Because if you have dehydrated skin, you're you're basically looking for something like that. You're looking for something that will give you this bouncy um, layer on your face. However, this one soaks in pretty nicely. It's not like it leaves you uh, oily. No, no, no. You just have to wait for a while for it to absorb. And I put it on my neck. And then the last product I want to share with you guys. 
no, almost the last one, is Daba First Spray Serum. You have to shake it like this before you're gonna use it. It's vegan product and it has multiple uses. You can use it like this on your face, like after you apply toner and cream, you can use it as a setting spray. You can use it as a toner. You can use it after you just take a shower and you feel your skin is dry or like it starts tightening up. You can just spray it like one, two, three and you're good to go. I like to carry it around in my bag and spray it during the day to refresh my face. It really goes well on um, makeup. I mean, if you spray it from far away and you spray it during the day, it will give you that glass skin look because it is a little bit dewy. So I really, really love this serum. I really recommend it. The last thing is a very nice round lap sunscreen. I really like it because it's super lightweight. You can't feel you have anything on your face. Plus, it's really cheap. Let me show you like this. And when you spray it, it's totally disappearing into your skin, but it leaves it dewy. It's something different than most of the sunscreen. The difference with it is that I like to use it actually at the end of my skincare routine. Sometimes I'm lazy and, I'm feel, and I feel like, oh my god, I still have to pull the sunscreen. But with this one, it's not like this. Actually, I'm happy to use it because it gives the glass skin look at the end of your skincare routine. So I'm pretty happy to use it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please put the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my future video. Bye bye.